welcome to another video in the video series of RCC and in this video we will be designing a biaxially loaded column uh, we have a question design and column for following data B into D is equal to 400 into 500 mm PU is equal to 3000 kN MUX is equal to 180.0 kN per kN meter MUY is equal to 200 kN meter FCK is 25 newton per mm square FY is 500 newton per mm square and L is equal to 6 meter so what is MUX and MUY these are the moment along X axis and Y axis solution the very first step is to calculate the depth and width it has been provided in the equation so we can write directly D is equal to 500 mm and B is equal to 400 mm basically depth is taken as a longer side so D is equal to 500 mm second step is to calculate effective length as the question has not specified us the restraining condition so we assume that the both side being restrained on position and direction so L effective is equal to 0.65 L as we can see in the code 0.65 into 6 that comes at 3.9 meter third step is slenderness ratio lambda to check whether it is a long column or short column lambda is equal to L effective by B and this comes as 3.9 divided by 0.4 and this is 9.75 which is less than 12 so it is a short column for loading condition we have to compute ex and ey ex is equal to l by 500 plus d by 30 and this comes as 6000 by 500 plus 500 by 30 is equal to 28.667 mm 6 meter was converted into mm so it comes as 6000 ey is equal to l by 500 plus d by 30 is equal to 6000 by 500 plus 400 by 30 is equal to 25.33 mm make sure you are using a clear spawn that is you will not use L effective in determining EX and EY now we have to check with 0.05 B which comes as 20 mm and 0.05 D comes as 25 mm now comparing EX EY with 0.05 D and 0.05 B respectively since ex is greater than 0.05 d and ey is greater than 0.05 b it is a biaxially loaded case so it is designed as short biaxially loaded case as the code has specified if the centricity exceeds 20 mm then moment of eccentricity has to be computed so calculation of moment due to eccentricity along x and y axis let us draw an column plan and showing the axis x and y ey be the eccentricity along x axis about y axis and ex be the eccentricity along y axis about x axis then moment along x direction is equal to mux is equal to pu into ey force into perpendicular distance so 3000 into 0 0.02533 meter 75.99 kilonewton meter and similarly moment along y direction m u y this comes as p u into e x p u being 3000 into 0 0.02867 and this is computed as 86 kN meter now this value is compared with the given moment in the equation and the value which is greater is taken for the design purpose so Comparing MUX and MUY with the given condition, MUX is equal to 75.99 kN and MUX provided in the equation is 180. So, similarly, MUY given is 80, calculated is 86 and given MUY is 200 kN meter. So, obviously, we will be designing for a greater value. So, taking greater design moment MUX and MUY, MUX is equal to 180 kN meter and MUY as 200 kilonewton meter now for interactive diagram assuming percentage of steel P percent is equal to 1.5 percent and D dash that is the effective cover is equal to 40 mm then D dash by D is equal to 40 by 500 is equal to 0 0.08 which is nearly equal to 0 0.1 and PU by FCK BD this is the axial force ratio uh, 3000 into 10 to the power 3 converting into Newton divided by 25 into 400 into 500 this comes as 0 0.6 and P by FCK is equal to 
1.5 by 25 uh, is equal to 0 0.06 so these are the data required for interpreting interactive diagram now from sp16 chart 48 because chart 48 is for d dash by d is equal to 0 0.1 and for fe 500 from y axis you find pu fck bd is equal to 0 0.6 and p by fck in the curve as 0 0.06 and the value corresponding to this value uh, gives the value for mux fck b square d that is the moment ratio and we find this at 0 0.03 substituting the value of fck b and d we get the value of mux comma 1 is equal to 60 kilometer meter by b is equal to d dash is 40 and breadth is 400 so 0 0.1 and pu fck b into d that will be same as of the along x direction and this is 0 0.6 similarly p dash by fck will also be same that is 0 0.06 and from the interactive diagram corresponding 0 0.6 and 0 0.06 we get muy by fck bd square is equal to 0 0.03 we might get confused why we are taking b square d and bd square for x and y suppose calculating moment of inertia for a rectangular body along x axis then it would be bd cube by 12 so same principle is used here mux that is moment due to eccentricity at y and muy is moment due to eccentricity at x so for moment due to eccentricity at x that is along x axis it would be bd square and for y axis it would be b square d i hope you have been clear so mux divided by b square d because along y axis or at y axis sitting the value of fck b and d we get the value of muy comma 1 as 75 kilonewton meter now from IS456 plus 39.6 this is for biaxial loaded case MUX by MUX comma 1 alpha n plus MUY by MUY comma 1 alpha n should be less or equal to 1 more this value closer to 1 more the economical the designing of column will be now for MUX it is 180 divided by 60 to the power alpha n plus 200 divided by 75 to the power alpha n less or equal to 1 now for alpha n alpha n is calculated with respect to the ratio of pu and puz pu is the axial force and puz is the pure compressive force and puz is computed from the clause 39.6 puz is equal to 0 0.45 fck ac plus 0 0.5 fyas clause 39.6 now ac is the percentage or ac is the area of concrete in the column and as is the area of steel in the column and providing p percentage 1.5 as we have already mentioned earlier 100 minus 1.5 that is 98.5 divided by 100 into gross area plus 0 0.75 into 500 into 1.5 divided by 100 into ag so we are bringing the equation in the terms of az and az is equal to b into d that is overall area 400 into 500 this comes as 200000 mm square now substitute the value of az then we can compute puz as 2328.75 kN. now the ratio of pu and puz can be computed that is 3000 by 2328.75 and this comes as 1.28 alpha n corresponding to 1.28 has to be calculated from clause 39.6 for alpha n we can find there that the value of alpha n ranges from 1 to 2 for a ratio of pu by puz as 0.2 to 0.8 now alpha n is equal to 2 alpha n is equal to 2 for pu by puz is equal to 1.28 as the clause has said if the value of pu by puz exceeds 0.8 alpha n is equal to 2 and if the value is less than 0 0.2 value of alpha n is taken as 1 then 3 square plus 200 by 75 square less or equal to 1 as 180 by 60 is 3 16.11 which is less or equal to 1 not okay so the case is not satisfied 
and this arises due to the wrong assumption of steel so that is our assumed p percentage is not okay hence we have to increase the value of steel so taking p percentage as 4% okay from this equation of clause 39.6 we can easily determine that the assumed value of steel was not correct so basically if we see here the value of design moment is greater than that of the capacity of the column so this is not achievable so the value is not within the range so the percentage of steel has to be increased then again p by fck 4 by 25 this comes at 0.16 and pu by fck bd this comes at 0.6 substituting the value of pu as 1.5 into 2000 from chart 48 the value of mu y1 by fck bd square comes at 0.16 and finally mu y comma 1 is computed as 400 kilonewton meter sorry f mu x comma 1 is equal to 320 kilonewton meter then for alpha n puz has to be computed puz is equal to 0.45 fck ac plus 0.75 fy as as we have provided 4 percent of steel so 0.45 into 25 into 96 by 100 into gross area that is 500 into 400 plus 0.75 into 500 into 4 by 100 into 20,000 area of steel is 4 percent so this comes as 5160 kilonewton now the ratio of pu by puz comes at 0.581 and it lies between 0.2 and 0.8 and alpha n value corresponding to 0.581 this comes as alpha n is equal to 1.635 from linear interpolation then from clause 39.6 mu x by mu x comma 1 to the power alpha n plus mu y by mu y comma 1 to the power alpha n less than or equal to 1 now in this case the value of design moment is less than that of the axial moment capacity of the column so now the value will be within the limit so this comes as 0.71 less or equal to 1 this is okay nearer to 1 the column design is more economical fourth step is reinforcement detailing uh, this area of steel provided here is 4% of BD so 4 by 100 into 400 into 500 that comes as 8000 mm square providing a size of bar that is longitudinal bar pi L is equal to 32 mm and number of bar is equal to area of steel divided by area of individual bar that is 8000 by 5 pi by 4 into 32 square this comes as 9.94 numbers nearly taking as 12 NOS as per four phase column for lateral ties that is the shear reinforcement diameter phi t should be greater or equal to 1 by 4 times of the diameter of longitudinal bar 32 by 4 is equal to 8 mm or should be greater or equal to 6 mm and adopting a greater value of between them provide phi t is equal to 8 mm and for pitch it should be less or equal to 16 phi l that comes as 16 into 32 is equal to 512 mm or should be less or equal to least lateral dimension that is 400 mm or should be less or equal to 300 mm taking pitch is equal to 300 mm now whether the extra stir up is required or not so for extra stir up check let us draw the reinforcement detailing Our overall depth is 500 width is 400 four corner bars are placed and in between them remaining bars are provided along x-axis spacing between bar is equal to and effective cover is 40 mm overall depth minus two times of effective cover along that axis and number of spacing so for our case it is overall depth is 500 2 into effective cover that is 40 mm number of spacing is 3 and this comes as 140 mm which is greater than 75 mm so from clause if the value of spacing between bar exceeds 75 mm extra stir up is required now for the stir up type spacing between corner bar 500 minus 2 into 40 uh, 420 mm which is greater than 48 phi t that is 384 mm so if the value or if the spacing between corner bar exceeds 48 phi t then a close type stir up is provided now similarly along y axis we have to make a check so spacing between bar is equal to 
along y axis we provide width that is b so 400 minus 2 into effective cover that is 40 divided by number of spacing 3 106.67 which is greater or equal to 75 mm hence an extra stirrup is required according to the code similarly for the type of stirrup spacing between corner bar that is overall dimension 400 minus 2 into 40 so this comes as 320 which is less than 48 phi t so a open stirrup can be provided along x axis close type of stirrup is provided and along y axis open type of stirrup is provided but i have already said that in case of open stirrup we can directly provide a closed type of stirrup but for now 